Hello. Today I'm going to talk about Jack Rabbit's latest update. JR. This mindset pays homage to Jack Rabbit's original aggressive algorithm that was built on Crypto Hopper. This is extreme scalping at its best. I'm going to set this up so that you see just how aggressive the original algorithm is. The original Crypto Hopper version of Jackrabbit did not have risk mitigation at all. It was just flow blown, opened up, running full throttle. And this will give you a good look at just how strong of a scalper it was. And still is. This is also where Jackrabbit came from. The very beginnings of Jackrabbit one year ago this May. Now the one thing to understand about Jackrabbit's original algorithm is it aggregates profits through large volumes of purchases. It naturally averages down just by the sheer volume of the profits it takes. And it looks for opportunities as often and as quickly as possible. It is extremely aggressive. As you can see by looking at all of these signals. Now, J.R. Ling adds the additional benefit of Jackrabbit's advanced risk mitigation algorithm. So it takes the original algorithm combines it with the new, more advanced abilities and opens the door to some very nice scalping potential. It's still aggressive, but it is very capable of keeping up with the original and even working well with the more advanced algorithms that Jackrabbit has evolved into. As part of your tool chest, this algorithm can make a wonderful addition to very quick, rapid trades. So you want to be aware of this when you're doing your analysis and your back studies. Be sure to analyze it carefully. And also make sure you plan out your budget appropriate. Because it can eat up a lot of resources very quickly if you don't plan it out properly. Reasonably speaking, each marker is a $10 position. Assuming you're using $10 as your base order. So as you can see, it can grow very quickly. And the one thing to be aware of, it hugs the cascades. So make sure you carefully plan that out. Again, it averages as it purchases all the way down so that when it hits its sell point, it has a natural dollar cost averaging approach already built into it. Now you can add additional dollar cost averaging because sometimes these cascades can be extremely difficult to work with. Let me move to the five minute chart, which will get us a bigger view of the market over the last week or so. And you'll get an idea of just how aggressive this strategy really is in light of Black Thursday. Overall, it does extremely well. But these need to be planned for. Because they do, as you can see, take up a lot of resources to average down the price in an organic way. 
So if you're buying all the way down the cascade and then you hit this sell marker, you're going to get the average. Using a buy sell strategy like this is an organic stop loss approach that usually comes out on top of the profit line, though there are some occasions that you may not profit as well as you could. That's just the market. You see also opportunities for shorts as well as longs. So this works in both directions in a very aggressive way. Be sure you look at your risk mitigation. Be sure you factor your budget. Be sure you plan for the cascades because they can be devastating. The original premise for Jackrabbit, and it holds true still, is you need 1,000 USDT per position. This is exactly why you need this type of situation. The Cascades will consume a lot. Plan for them, expect them, and reap the rewards when it sells. Plan for the natural organic stop losses and let it do its thing. Mm -hmm. Be sure you always focus on paper trading first and really examine and analyze your results. Be sure you adjust your risk factor appropriately. Because if you open up Jackrabbit to its full aggressive state, it will be unparalleled in aggression. It takes a little bit to process, but the algorithm itself is extremely fast. The one problem you will see, which I recommend you use for retracement, is Jackrabbit is aggressive enough that there is a lot of mm -hmm. false signals when you use the closing value. So you want to be aware of that when you're planning it out. Either use retracement, open, or HL2, or even OCHL4 as a mechanism to help deal with the retracements. Because as you can see, opened up all the way there's a lot of signals here. This average is immense. You don't need dollar cost averaging with this kind of a situation, but you do need to have a high tolerance for risk. So don't take this algorithm lightly. It may be where Jack Raddatz started, but it's not something to underestimate its potential. Until next time.